Hey guys, it's Valerie with Vegan Travel Eats. I'm here with my husband Ricky, and um, he's making his YouTube debut, I think. Very nervous. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna try some new vegan cheeses that we found on the market, and we've been waiting a long time to try them, so I'm so excited. We're gonna compare a few cream cheeses, we're gonna compare a few um, cheeses that were sent to us from um, New Culture, and we're also gonna try some new cheese snacks as well. So, ready? Yeah. Are you excited? Sure. I mean, pretty I'm excited about Miyokos. this stuff. Yeah, you're most excited about Miyoko's? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think I am too. But we've got a bunch of different options. The cream cheeses we're going to try today are the Trader Joe's brand, Violife Plain, Miyoko's Plain, and Miyoko's Unlocks Your Dream. So we're going to start with the Trader Joe's cream cheese. Um, honestly, I'm probably the least excited about this one, but Trader Joe's is pretty awesome. So let's see how it tastes. Alright, you want to go first? No. Why not? Because mm, if it's not good, then you <laughs> have to try it first. I think it's really good. I feel like it maybe needed more. I'm like tasting mostly bagel. There's a lot of cream cheese on there. I'm gonna let on one bite. Good. <laughs> Just make sure. <laughs> The flavor is good. It's a little light. Yeah. It's not like really. It's not heavy, but it's 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 not so light. It's either. not. There's nothing offensive about it, but it's not like amazing. It's very neutral. Yeah. It's good. It's not bad. There's no weird taste, no aftertaste, nothing like that. Yeah. So it's a good neutral cream cheese. No one's gonna be upset with that. Yeah. And this, I'm. I don't remember how much it was. Honestly, I'm gonna look it up and I'll <laughs> post it below. But this was, I'm pretty sure, gonna be the cheapest option out of all of these. Um, it's good. So next. We will do the BioLife cream cheese. It looks really good. Take a bite. Oh, you go first oh. this time, baby. They taste really similar, I feel like. Those two. They do. I'm trying to think which one I'd rather have if I had a bagel. It's good. Again, it's like really good. Neutral but also. I think, it's yeah. just a little, I think it tastes a little bit cheesier like there's a little more cream cheese flavor like there's flavor to it then no i'm okay then then the uh trader joe's but it has a little flavor in the front like when you first when it first hit, hits your palate like it's got a little bit of like some sweet or something yeah, yeah fancy uh, i feel like those two are so similar and i mean i love bio life and i love their cheeses their mozzarella is like pretty much the only cheese i'll have on my pizza now it's so good um but as far as the cream cheese goes, and like if you're talking price, like I would just pick up the Trader Joe's. I, I think I like the Violet a little bit better, but I think yeah. they're both, I, I agree. If you're like at the store, I'd probably just grab the, the Trader Joe's one. For and the, it's, I mean, in general, Trader Joe's is easier to find, unfortunately. Which one's cleaner ingredients, or is it pretty much the same thing? Is this coconut oil? That's very true. Yeah, I would um, go for the cleaner one because yeah, the it's so neutral. That's true. Yeah, it depends on what's important to you. But if you want a budget. But yeah, yeah. The Bella's little cleaner ingredients, the Trader Joe's is easier to find and less expensive, but they're both very similar, I think. I mean, they're both, like the we didn't talk about the consistency of the Trader Joe's, but they're both like creamy and yeah. light and good. The consistency is like, I think, spot on, but. But let's try the other yeah. cream cheeses, please. Okay, we're going to, I guess, the Milkos. Milkos. So these are, I think we mentioned, our most, the ones we're most excited about. We've heard such good things about the Miyoko's cream cheeses. 
Um, we love the her mozzarella and um, the butter is something that we use pretty much every day at our house. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try the plain and then the lox, but we're gonna start with the plain. All right. And this is cashew based. Very strong flavors. The coconut is like very strong. Definitely there. Yeah. Very strong. Yeah, Flavors and like as far as the consistency goes, it's like a lot it. thicker and a little grainier than the other two. I don't really get the graininess in my mouth so much, but <clears throat> it is a little bit. I it's got a, a pretty strong flavor for coconut. Oh yeah, you can taste the coconut. I would personally so far go with either one of yeah. the first two, either Vital Life or Trader Joe's. The meal just is good. I'm, I'm not like, saying it's not good, but like, I don't know. I feel like it's, the coconut's strong in there. Maybe, you can taste not, it. On a bagel, I wouldn't put on a bagel. Like, maybe like on like a cracker or something or like with cucumber, like something like that. It would be cool because it has yeah. some coconut flavor. It's got a little bit of depth I just feel like these two are cr like more closer to what I remember cream cheese being. Traditional cream cheese. Yeah. 100% closer over here. All right. On to the unlocks your dreams. So the unlocks your dreams is gonna be like lox, um, lox cream cheese on a bagel. So definitely growing up in Miami, a good Jewish girl, definitely had my share of lox cream cheeses. So why don't you feed that one to me? It passes the smell test. Yeah. That was a little bite. Mmm. Whoa. Mmm. I love that. Wow. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, and I don't get the I don't get the coconut in that one at all. That is that's awesome. really good. I mean, you have to. And it's clean, really clean. I mean, yeah. The ingredients. I mean, great. you you definitely have to like the taste of lox. I think if you're gonna like that, I mean, it's like awesome. when I before going vegan, I used to eat lox on my bagels or lox cream cheese all the time. So you definitely have to like that flavor um, to like this. But uh, this is so good. This could go on. Like, That's amazing. This can go on stuff like too, like you know, appetizers. You get like friends over, you can put on cucumber mm -hmm. with like dill on top or something like yeah. cool. Like I mean, it's it's, it's so good. good. That's, That's awesome. amazing. Right. Um, so your favorite was the what? Um, I think if I had to choose, it would be. I mean, it's it, hard it's to gotta be, them, I guess. It's got to be the unlocks your dreams because. You're not going to get anything like it, but again, I mean, for every day, either one of these guys, Via Life or Trader Joe's, I would say, are pretty good, but yeah. I mean, whatever, I mean, if you're at the market, if you're at Trader Joe's, pick up Trader Joe's, if you're at another market, pick up, like, I yeah, would, there's here, not a big difference. Here in Miami, Via Life's kind of hard to find, um, I do have to go to, like, a specialty place for it, so Trader Joe's is easier for me to grab, but like we said before, the Via Life is definitely a little healthier. Um, so as far as the plain cream cheeses go, those are as high for me, Trader Joe's and Violet, as far as taste goes. Um, and um, unfortunately, the Miyoko's classic, which just wasn't either of our favorites. Um, but the Lox was amazing. And like, if I was just to grab a bagel, I would go for the Lox over like anything. Like, I would definitely grab that first with like a little, a big fat slice of tomato and that kind of stuff. So. Awesome. Very good. Well, let's move on to the new culture cheeses. Um, I saw these new culture cashew cheeses when I was in Portland at the Food Fight grocery store, all vegan grocery store. So much fun in there. I could buy everything. Um, but I saw these cheeses and I luckily spoke with the people who make them and they sent them over to me. So I wanted to try them and let you guys know what I think. Um, so they're all cashew based and that we got a garden herb flavor, a bacon chipotle flavor, and a pimento paprika flavor. So um, let's start with the garden herb. Sure.
Ready? Ready? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Pear cheers. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You got me. Mmm. 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 That's amazing. Very like earthy. That's really good. Herby. Very herby. Awesome. Herbaceous, I guess is the word. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, this is really good. Herbaceous. Yeah, yeah. right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, no, this is like a really nice spread. I would definitely like totally. You can use that on a bagel. You can use it on crackers. I yeah. think that's really good. I think they have suggestions on the back. Of all. You can yeah. even put that in like a wrap. I love, their, they have, I love their enjoyment tips on the back. You can put it on a bagel, dollop on risotto, Ooh. or just dip veggies in it, which is oh, a great idea. It, I wonder if it cooks down. Like, you know, like, like, like toss Put it stuff like in pasta. Something like that. I don't that know. That sounds good. You can put it in a nori wrap. That'd be really cool with like veggies. Yeah, like a sushi burrito thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sounds good. That we both really liked. I That's will very good. Be eating the rest of that very Yeah. Um, so uh, next, let's do the pimento paprika. making pimento cheese sandwiches with this just to make sure it was good yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. this one the texture is way creamier than this one i took them out of the fridge probably half an hour ago it's good. and this one like and they've all been out like as just the same amount of time and this one's super creamy this will not survive a party with your friends there's no way that's so good lastly oh my god i love that <laughs> i'm really not interested in trying this but i will Okay. okay, so he's totally weirded out by this flavor. Sounds weird, but bacon eat chipotle. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay. Ready? Cheers, yeah, again. Cheers. I like that. It is spicy. <sighs> <laughs> it is spicy. Um, that is very spicy. You sure it's not ghost pepper? <laughs> um, but it's really good. No, it's good. I don't get like a strong bacon-y flavor. Me either. It's, the Chipotle definitely takes over. And I'm glad we did this one last because I'm not going to be able to taste anything for a few minutes after this. <laughs> There's Chipotle and cayenne in here. Okay. Just all the bases. It's really good. I love it. Flavor. Yeah, I mean, the, there's not a strong bacon flavor in here, which I think is good because I just think it would be a little strange. Um, so what was your favorite? I just need to <coughs> clear things out. Um, I think my favorite... Mm, I, uh, here, I'll start with my favorite while you cool down a little bit. <laughs> He's a little more sensitive to spice than I am. Um, my favorite was probably the pimento, I think. Wow. I don't know. The garlic herbs are the, it's just herb, right? Yeah, the herb is really good too. Um, the pimento, the reason I picked the pimento is because the texture is super creamy. It's like really, like, just like, kind of like creamy and rich. And like the garden herb is a little thicker. It's more of like, like if you ever ate like borzin kind of thing, like that spreadable cheese stuff. Um, that it's like a definitely a thicker spread, um, the, the herb one, and then the pimento one is like really creamy, like almost like a queso, I feel like, texture. If you heat it up a little bit too, it just like literally be queso texture. You could like just cover nachos in that. I think the garden herb is my favorite because it's just really neutral. Actually, but the pimento is paprika is like. It's neutral. Pretty neutral for too. For sure. Yeah. I think they're both really good. There's yeah. no favorite. And I love the chipotle for. too. The chipotle is really good. If you like a little spice, that's really delicious. A little more than a little spice. Yeah. No, it's not crazy. It doesn't like, it doesn't stay with you. It kind of hits your heart. It's still, it's still a little there in my mouth. How about you? I'm going to have another crack. Now. Yeah. <laughs> it's there, but it's really good. It's not, it's not going to like kill you. We're kind of babies with spice, but it's really good. So in all, 
the new culture cheeses are amazing. amazing. I wish they were available somewhere here in Miami, but if you check their website, I believe you can order them from somewhere um, and get them delivered on ice. So I would recommend that because these are awesome. They're not grainy in any way. They're really good. Oh, they're good. They're really good. <laughs> Very good, actually. Yeah. Not just good. They're awesome. <laughs> let's, so let's try. <laughs> let's try um, the mustache munchies that were sent to me by this company they're kind of trying to be like a vegan gluten-free and healthier goldfish option so we've got three different flavors we've got the cheddar ish we have parmesan rosemary and spicy ish so let's start with the cheddar sure Mm. These are really good. They're good. They're really good. They're like definitely crispier and thinner than goldfish. No, are. but they they're, accomplish the same. No, they're really good. good. I could like definitely mindlessly eat this whole bag. They're super crispy. They're they, not they like, they're, they, they like goldfish like, are a little softer. Oh yeah, 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 like you're saying, stack. yeah. They're kind of like hard. Yeah, I'm sure they have more fiber yeah. than goldfish. Or they have two grams of fiber. I don't know how many goldfish have. You don't want some more? No, let's no. go to the Parmesan rosemary. Sorry. <laughs> oh, good. Which one's this again? Parmesan rosemary. Ooh. There's a little taste here, but it's... Well, the rosemary. The rosemary is, like, very subtle. But it's there. Pretty good, though. Mm-hmm. I like those. They're good. I think I prefer the cheddar one just because like, they're pretty much, like, goldfish almost. Neutral. Like, they're just a little yeah. more neutral, yeah. And then those are the spicy ones, your favorite. My favorite. Those are spicy too. Not, not bad. At the end, they kind of get you. They're good though. I like them. They're like not crazy spicy, but I could see if you ate like a whole bag, you'd definitely be. It's like a building spice. Like on fire, yeah. Mmm. I like these. There's yeah. cayenne in here. That's what gives them the kick. All right. What were your favorite? Cheddar. I think cheddar. Yeah, Cheddar-ish. Yeah. I think if I were to go for a bag, it would probably be cheddar, but it just depends, I guess, what kind of mood I'm in, because... Have them all in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Those are, they definitely have a spice. I said they yeah. did. They yeah. Did you have stuff in your teeth. They're <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> oh, well. Always. Well... Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this helped you make some more decisions at the grocery store or what you're going to order online. But once again, everyone has their own taste, so I definitely encourage everyone to try stuff for themselves. Um, but yeah. Cool. Anything you'd like to say? No. Pretty Thanks good. so much. For <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I will link um, the different products we tasted below in the description. Thanks, guys.